What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, man, check it out. I got the Titan 70 set back up in the studio, and I want to answer the question, is this thing perfect? Right here, right now, on this channel, it's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. All right, all right, before we get started, before I go to talking, I already know that you guys' little fingers are just buzzing along because I asked the question, is this thing perfect? And I already know what's gonna be said. You work for the company, you get paid, you're just a, a simple sheep. You don't care about nobody else because you're not getting free product from anybody else. All of that's being said. I already know that, none of that's true. But I know that's what's being said, all right? So I just want to throw that out there before y'all go to typing away, you know what I'm saying? Give me a second to make my little case, all right? Just give me a second. So check it out, man. This is the Titan 70. And as you guys know, um, my first video was on the Titan 600, uh, not the Titan, but the SD600 uh, by Simmons. I got that drum set. That was my first uh, drum set for foray into this. And from there, everything just kind of took off. And then the Titan series came out. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I always say my favorite drum is the SD-1250. But the more I think about this drum set, the more I play both drum sets, the more I look at it, the more I keep asking myself the question is, in this price range, and I'm not going to compare it to a $2,300 Elises. I'm not comparing it to some $8,000 roll or nothing like that. I'm just talking about in this price range. Is this thing perfect? Is it better than everything out there? I looked at two different rolling sets um, that are in this price range. I think one above, one just right, right evenly matched. I looked at a few underneath that I won't put on screen. I looked at Elise's drum sets. And the one thing that I started to notice is that while you, we can debate whether or not sounds are better or that, this and that, which I think the Simmons sounds are really, really great. Um, the one thing that I began to notice is that this thing actually punches above its weight class. The Titan 70 has features that you do not get on those other drum sets. Now watch me when I say this. Let's talk about expandability. When it comes to expandability, none of those drum sets expand as well as this. I Now, okay, for those of you here, we go again to the, the type of warriors. Before you go and talk about changing modules and all of that stuff, I'm talking about buy the drum set out the box, set it up, and go. When you start to compare the drum sets in this price range, the, the, the Titan 70 steps out in front of everybody, especially in the world of expandability. So it comes with the four toms and the two cymbals. Perfect. But what happens is that none of the other drums are giving you is two extra expansion slots, which means I don't know where you put them or how you mount them, but you can actually add two, an extra tom or an extra cymbal or both, two symbols or two times. Now, let's talk about Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI. A lot of them have some form or version of it, but the way this drum does it, the way you connect with your phone or, the, or your tablet uh, via Bluetooth to record and even record, you know, the sounds from the drums to your DAW, um, it's just, it's, it's flawless. It's flawless. Oh, here go the, the warrior. The keyboard warriors are back at it again. But the bottom line is, now, one more thing that really takes this drum set to another level. Not only is it dual zone toms and dual zone cymbals, but you got a tri-zone ride. Bro, you got the bell, the bow, the edge on the ride. And in this class range, at that, at that price range, that doesn't exist. This throws this drum set way ahead of everybody else. So when people ask me, which would you get between this or that, and I look at the price and then I look at the specs, I gotta come back to the Titan. It's not about whether or not um, I'm, I, I really just like them or whatever. It really is just look at them spec for spec, pound for pound, put them side by side, don't play them. Go down the list of what they can do and watch what happens with the Titan 7, how it jumps out in front of everybody else. Now, 
could they improve it? Somebody's gonna say, I don't like the cage, the cage is chintzy. Man, listen, I don't know what y'all playing. I don't know what size drumstick y'all play with. But I used to have these big old toy, you know, these big old wood drumsticks with like two inches thick that I used to mess with. And I knew you don't play with those drumsticks. They were just a gimmick. And maybe you guys are playing with that. Or maybe you're swinging as hard as you can. Or maybe you're constantly taking it apart and putting it back together and taking it apart and putting it back together. Did you know that you can actually just take, take the cymbals off and take the toms off and then don't take anything else off, not even the wiring. Just take the module off, leave the wiring wired. If you got it wrapped up and just collapse the drum set, collapse the cage. Did you know you could do that? Then you just open it back up and put all the toms and the cymbals back on and plug the module back in. You don't even have to rewire it because you can just leave it wired. Did you know that? I don't know what you guys are doing with this, with this cage, this rack system that really makes y'all think it's flimsy, but I have an acoustic set sitting right there. And every now and again, things bounce and move. That doesn't mean that is, you know, flimsy. It's just things move. You're hitting it. You're hitting it. So when you really look at this thing pound for pound, when you really look at the module and the sounds. Now, sounds are subjective. Some people love all of the Elisa sounds. I like a lot of the Elisa sounds, one snare in particular. Um, Roland has really great sounds, but let's, let's, let's leave sounds to your choice your taste because I've said it before you give me any drum set let me sit down in my door and start to EQ and I'll make it sound amazing all right so I know I can do that so I, I throw sounds out the window but when you just look at pound for pound the DED 200s the D or uh, the the Donner uh, series drums when you look at the Elisa's drums when you look at the Roland drums when you look at the drum sets that's that's in this lead Fessily drums all that are in this price range I'm sorry to say man but this drum might be put in the way there's a reason it's not perfect my opinion though i wish it had larger heads for the toms i love the the, the 10 inch snare but i wish it had larger heads all around i would rather go with a 12 inch snare and then eight inch you know um eight ten twelve uh on the toms but if i did that i just described the sd 1250. you see what happened i just jumped but other than that, this thing just might be perfect.